When you open your closet door, let me ask you this. Are you worried about that avalanche of stuff hitting you on your head? Be honest. This morning in our New Year, New You series, we're tackling one of the biggest organizational challenges a household can face, the closet. Take a look. Meet Kristen O'Connor. This mom says she has a lot to be grateful for this January, namely her 10-month-old, baby Ethan, whom she adopted last year. Christian says her infant son has brought her boundless joy in something else. A messy closet. It used to actually look really nice um, before the baby. And then once Ethan came, things just got tossed in the closet. I'm just kind of in trouble. I can't find anything. Kristen says the time she routinely spends looking for things in her disorganized closet means precious moments away from her son. The eight-foot-tall closet is home to all of her clothes, her wedding gown, motorcycle helmet, and lots and lots of mismatched shoes. I get hit in the head at least once a day with the clothes that fall down on my head as they come crashing down. I'll find one shoe, not the other. I'll go out with two different shoes. Her goal? I would open my doors with one look, know exactly what I have, where it is, and just be able to grab it without having to spend the next 20 minutes cleaning up what I just destroyed. Our solution, the fairy godmother of closets. Organizing Maven, Julie Morgenstern. So nice to meet you. Within minutes of an introduction, Julie sized up Kristen's closet and had in mind an answer to her closet prayers. All right, well, we can do this, and we can do it really quick. Yeah, really quick. We packed Kristen's closet up, brought it to our studio so you could see just how easy it was to fix it up, especially at the hands of an organizational expert like Julie Morgenstern, who is author of Organizing from the Inside Out. That is her book, and she's going to tell us what she did and how she did it. But first, Kristen is all also here. And first of all, let's remind everybody. No, let's see the, the end product. Let's mm -hmm. remind everybody what Julie had to work with. Okay, that's what it looked like before. And now we can reveal the transformation. Please pull out, pull out. Nice. You do good work, Julie. Yeah, yeah. So what do you do with all that stuff? How do you deal with it? Well, you know, the first thing is you have to kind of figure out what's going on. So one of the first problems she had was the closet was overstuffed with mm. her old life and her new life. She's a new mom. So half of the stuff didn't fit wasn't part of her life anymore and she needed to, to shed and take that stuff out. This was some of the stuff that was in the closet? Yeah, so this is part of her old life. You know, the mom nice. of a 10 month old has decided that maybe the motorcycle high risk days are over for now. Mm -hmm. uh, she decided that she didn't want to keep anything that would embarrass her son when she picked him up from school. Even though he's 10 <laughs> months, she's being a thoughtful mother already. Uh -huh. Right, so we shed everything that didn't belong. And also she had her entire summer wardrobe squeezed into this, which just seemed, you know, we could do it. Really, right? It folded like this. Yeah, it yeah. folded very tiny, so that needed a little expansion, right, to make life easier, because right. you need to move fast when you're a mom. Okay, but you just yeah. can't throw things out. No, can't throw things yeah. out, and it's, it's people get stuck yeah. if it's like, we didn't want to throw it out. So you want to set up three boxes. One is give away. Right, and figure out exactly where you're going to send it mm -hmm. because it, it motivates you to give away if you're giving away yes, to a particular person or organization. There's throw away anything that is so s torn or stained or shoes that are too worn, you want to throw them away. Nobody really wants those. Mm -hmm. And then there's belongs elsewhere, and this is the secret box. So the trouble people get in when they're cleaning out one space is they find something that belongs elsewhere and then they walk to that place and get distracted and start yeah. organizing it. So don't do that. Just have a belongs elsewhere box. If it doesn't belong in the closet, throw it in the box at the end of your organizing session. You can figure it out later. Correct. All right. right. Keeps you focused. Well, give us some suggestions here on how to save some space. So, yeah, the next thing we need to do is stretch the storage mm -hmm. in her because she was all crammed and wasn't right. making good use. So always group short hanging from long hanging, which opens up a huge amount of floor space. And for her, we open up so much space, there was room for a shoe rack and actually a three drawer rolling cart. Oh my. So we got a lot of storage out of the base, which mm -hmm. is usually lost for people. Use thin hangers it's a, and uniform hangers. These Love them, right? make such a difference. Yeah. And I've started yeah. using them too. And then never keep empty hangers on the rod. Get a nice little basket and throw all your empty hangers on the floor. Wonderful idea. Right? right. Okay. And then for accessibility, because it's hard for her to reach things, use shelf baskets. Mm -hmm. And that way, and these are really cool shelf baskets because the top 
the okay. front drops down and then you can actually have better access to it and that gets the things on the shelf more accessible. Well, it's such a different... Kristen, come on in. So has this made your life a little bit easier? This is amazing. I cannot believe it. I see things here I haven't seen in forever. Like, <laughs> I feel like I just went shopping uh -huh. because this is all new to me. You yeah. can shop in your own closet. Exactly. And it's all about organization. Yeah. And this is another cool product uh, mm -hmm. called a shelf divider that just clips on and it keeps bags or t-shirts. And where did you get these products? From All, organization? Uh, Organize.com, which is a website. They've got thousands of great products, and I think okay. if people go to your website, they can get more information. Yeah. All right, sweaters, yeah. pants, and that. Julie, thank you. Wish we had a little bit more time for this, Kristen. Mm -hmm. Hey, Happy New Year to happy you. Happy New Year to you. Yeah, and be a new year this year. Go to abcnews.com to see our comprehensive tips for organizing your life in 2011, including great ways to declutter your home, wallet, and closet. I wish we could all take you home with us too, Julie. <laughs>